What's going on here, Leo? Yeah, I'm going to do a reading for you today. Yes, I'm going to pull five future cards and five um, <clears throat> guidance advice cards on how to deal with those energies coming up for you. Mm -hmm. These readings are pretty timeless, so uh, yeah. Yeah. So whenever these readings find you, yeah. It'll be the right timing. So... Let's get this going. Please do hit the like and subscribe. That would be very cool if you did that. That would be really awesome. Also, leave me a comment. That would be appreciated as well, especially if this uh, com comes to fruition, right? Yeah. So, Mr. or Mrs. Leo, near future for you. I totally feel I should take that one, so I will. Yeah. Near future for the Leo. Leo. There you go. Eight of Wands, two of Wands. Leo, near future. Near future for the Leo. All right. Near future for Leo. That's uh, in reverse. Uh, okay. Alrighty. Now for Leo, gonna get some guidance, some advice on how to deal with all this. Leo guidance. Guidance advice for Leo. Okay, that's pretty clear cut. Yeah. Leo watching this. Bottom of the deck, yes, being very protective of your energies. Yeah, it may also be resources, right? But um, the general, generally, what I see with this is like, um, this is mine, right? These are my energies. Uh, take that, make it out what you will, okay? But um, that's kind of the uh, theme here. That's what I kind of sense with this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So this is mine whatever that may mean to you. So first go to Queen of Wands. Has to do with a pe person that is very outgoing, right? It may also be a wild person. Not not saying a bad person, not at all, but definitely a person with a wild side, a person that knows what they want. This could be you, right? A sense that it might not be you because of the other energies here, but I'm not sure. These rules can be reversed. Okay, Dilk. So, uh, but definitely uh, an individual that knows what they want. And it feels like there's another person here that doesn't know what they want. Yeah. With two of wands here. Um, this could be indecisive or a person, individual that doesn't... Um, doesn't really know yet what to choose. Yeah, because that's a decision card, right? Which path should I take? Left or right? Up or down? Right? But it feels like this person could be you, could be your other significant other, somebody in your bubble, um, has to know more. You see him looking at the world here? Yeah. Seems like before... Um, this person's going to make a decision. They have to know more, right? So this could be you. This could be somebody else. I'm not sure who's who, but um, yeah. There's definitely a sense of no needing to know more, and more is going to come in because we have the eight of wands here. 
very much associated with information coming in, news coming to light, right? Um, so this may be coming in for you. I'm not sure what it's about. What what strikes me, there's a lot of wants here. So this could be, um, yeah, a lot of fire. That's for sure. Uh, could be about a relationship. It could be about, um, well, anything that you're passionate about. But, um, yeah, waiting for news to come in. Hmm. And it's going to come in, so it seems. Yeah. Now with the next card, to me, the devil, that could represent all kinds of stuff, right? It leans towards addiction, speaks about um, sexuality. Um, the main thing, what I sense with this, uh, because I have studied this, <laughs> is uh, egotism. Thinking about yourself. So, what I sense with this is somebody, either you or your other person, is going to think about themselves here and go on their own path. I'm not saying they're going to leave the other person, not, not at all. Um, I'm not sure if this is in love. I don't really know. You will know this watching this. Yeah. But uh, they're going to be thinking about themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this could be about a job going somewhere. That's a example that I give. Um, like, hey, I got this great opp opportunity to go to another country and make a lot of money, but I'm gonna be gone for like two years. Bye, Felicia. That's kind of what I sense with this. Yeah, just an example, right? But that's the energy what I read here. Yeah. And <clears throat> with the other cards, the next, well, the last card following that, I sense there's not going to be a lot of resistance. Whoever um, is on the other side of the coin here, I'm not sure who, there's going to be a sense of just letting go. No resistance whatsoever. I'm like, okay, that's good. All right, you just do what you do. You do you, boo. That's kind of what I sense that. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So this might be coming up for you, Leo. Hmm. That's interesting. Whew. Now let's go to the guidance. Guidance. Death. Transformation. Right. So you must transform. This guidance is really for you personally, you watching this, whatever you need to do, whether you do that or not, that's that's all up to you, but um, transform the situation here. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure um, in what way. It could be in a matter of love. Maybe if this is like a romantic situation, with the uh, near future, it might be time for you to um, gravitate towards another individual, maybe. If this is really playing out as I uh, explained, wow. Yeah, that might be time to transfer to transform the situation because you have the Ace of Cups next to it. Yeah, that's all about new love, right? New love in your life. Yeah, so... Yeah, maybe you should transform that, whatever's going on, and move on to somebody else. Um, if this is in love, right? Yeah. I sense this to be going your own way. If they are going to go their way, you should go your own way as well. If it's not going to be together, that's, yeah, that's kind of what I feel with this, Leo. All right. Yeah. It speaks of emotions, right? Yeah. So something you are uh, that speaks to your emotions. So in general, that is um, romantical love, right? It may even be pets, family members, things like that. So maybe advice moving in with family members, transform your personal living situation, right? Whatever you're thinking about, whatever you are set on doing, absolutely do it, okay? 
don't let this that there's a big call for action here definitely with this um magician in the middle uh, yeah especially with um the eight of wands here at the top there's like a call for action and that could also be um the other individual i'm not sure but um this might be an, a call for um finding out more info right if you don't get that news coming in then you maybe have to go seek news right or this may happen five pentacles all about poverty illness sickness um yeah yeah so get ready for that i'm not sure what's going on here like i said it could be a scenario somebody leaving for their selfish ways um yeah it may be that you have to endure some financial um instability here because of that yeah hmm. get ready that's really a wake-up call that's what i feel anyway the last card here yeah new that's what i said uh, if they are going their way if that is your situation then you must go your way as well with the ace of wands here something you passionate about something that you have fire for and i bet you got a lot of fire right you're you're a leo so yeah get ready to go your own way yeah this may even be talking about a divorce or something like that Mm -hmm. it's got a lot of sense here that kind of thing especially with the four of pentacles here remember what i said this is mine yeah yeah information mm -hmm. so all right i hope uh i hope you got something out of this i hope this kind of gives you a heads up and uh yeah i hope this plays out really good for you um uh, yeah knowledge is needed just saying action too or you may um pull the shorts the short straw here uh, i don't even know if i'm saying that right but yeah just saying all right do hit the like sub and follow would be very awesome and uh, catch y'all in the next reading all right bye, -bye.